Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be doing like my updated makeup routine, which I've been getting asked about. I can't even count how many times I'm using all new products. and I've kind of had to switch up my routine because I have been going through some skin issues. So always around this time of the year, I break out, but this year has been a little exceptionally bad. So I've kind of had to adapt my routine to be more like acne covering and then also a lot more hydrating. And then I also wanted to kind of do like a fun little holiday look. You guys know me, when it comes to my makeup, I'm not very adventurous. So I'm so excited that this video is actually in collaboration with Sephora. Whenever I get to work with them, it really is like a pinch me moment because Sephora, are you kidding? I get to work with them. So all the products I'm using in today's video are from Sephora and I will leave them linked down below. So I think we should just get into the video. On my skin right now, I actually have the Tatcha Night Repair Cream because that is how dry my skin is. Typically, I would use something not so heavy and intense, but because my skin is so incredibly dry, I literally need to go in with a heavy-duty night cream. And then I also did a treatment with my Foreo UFO Mini, and so I have the serum on my face from the Glow Addict Enhanced Brightening Pearl Infused thing. So that's what I have on my skin. But for primer recently, I've been loving the Vanish Airbrush Primer from Hourglass. It is such an amazing primer. Put it in my T-zone. I don't put this all over my face. I just kind of put it here where I want to look the most flawless and poreless and perfect. For my foundation, I'm going in with the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. I'm going in with the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade Punjab, and I'm mixing them. It is literally the best foundation combo ever, so I'm going to go in with like one and a half pumps of this, and then one and a half pumps of the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. For a while, I thought maybe the House Labs foundation was breaking me out, but alas, that was not the case. My skin was just really in a tizzy, so I'm going in and just blending, blending, blending. Both of these foundations make my skin so flawless looking, so the combination of them together really is just on another level magical. For my concealer, I'm going in with the Milk Makeup Future Fluid All Over Cream Concealer in the shade 9N. Oh my gosh, I look at the packaging. Anyways, I really love this concealer. It gives you a very flawless, blurred, under eye it hides all of your pores and i just love it it's natural enough where you can use it every day but also glam enough to where it gives you a really full glam look so i always go in and blend out my under eyes first i don't like letting my concealer sit and set and dry i find it really hard to blend out so this is the makeup that i do if i'm going out at night time if i'm going to like an event a party definitely not my day-to-day -day makeup it is definitely a little bit more full glam but this is like my at night going out makeup and then i also go in on my jaw to really brighten it up my chin and my forehead. Okay, so now that we look like a ghost, I'm gonna go in with the By Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. I really did not enjoy this when I first got it. I literally tried it once, it made me look orange, and I don't know, I think it was maybe because of the foundation I was using under, but it's such a nice, like, balmy texture. I've been loving it. So I go in with the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection Brush and I kind of just dab and start working it up on my cheekbones. I don't like pull, I just kind of push it into my skin and where I want it like that. This is a really buildable product. It's not so intense to the point where it's gonna be like really hard to blend out. It really is such an amazing, blendable, creamy product. Just really is the best cream contour I've used in a while. It kind of reminds me of the Tom Ford contour, but just for a way, way, way better price. And I'll normally kind of bring that down my neck and I'll go in with the other side, pick up some more contour and put it on my lips. I always do this. Another thing I've been doing recently to kind of get an even more snatched look, I saw this on TikTok too. I swear I find all of my makeup tips on TikTok. I kind of drag it down like that. You see? Gives you that snatched cheekbone. Obviously I need to blend it, but I feel like that just gives you like that Bella Hadid model 
cheekbone. I'm going in with the Patrick Ta, what is this called? Major Headlines Blush Palette. What I like about this palette is that there are cream, blushes, and a highlighter, and then powder. So I go in with this one right here, and I just pick it up on my finger and dab it over here. I don't go in that intense with the cream blush now, but I like working in layers and I feel this just makes you look like you have like a glow from within. You're just so naturally healthy and perfect and you eat all your vegetables and you drink all your water. That's what that makes you look like. And so then I'll just go in and blend it all together. I feel like the magic really happens when you powder your face and the most magical powder in the world is the Huda Beauty, what is this called? Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. I have the color Pound Cake. And so the trick to this is to go in with a really light layer to begin with, just to set everything, and then you're gonna go in and bake. You don't wanna go in and bake when your skin is really wet with product because you're gonna create like a mud, it's gonna start lifting. You wanna set everything, get it all flawless, and then you bake. I'm gonna go in with a little triangle powder puff. Before you set anything, you wanna make sure there's no wrinkles, don't crinkle anything. Pick up a tiny amount and just press it where you want to set. And this powder will blur everything on your face. And it'll make your makeup last forever, for days. And so I'm gonna go in and just set all the areas that I really need set. That's why I like going in with a really dewy base because then you can go in and powder and make yourself look really flawless and airbrushed and still have that dewiness. It's not gonna get all cakey and dry. And so I also like to go in and powder here and here. And with whatever is left, I'll go over the rest, but I don't put more powder because I still want the perimeter of my face to look really dewy. Not everyone likes baking, but baking for me really does something that I can't even explain. I also more so use it to highlight my face, put a little bit extra on my smile lines because I have those now, the joys of getting older. Whatever's left, I will go in and pat it into my forehead. I'm quickly gonna do my eyebrows. These are not fun. I'm just going in with the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number three. <laughs> eyebrows have never been and will never be my strongest suit. I really need to spend some time like reshaping these eyebrows because I've neglected them. For my eyes, I got this new eyeshadow palette. It is the Empowered Palette from Mahuda Beauty. Something about this just looked so delicious. Look at all those colors. I've yet to play with this. I was waiting for you to play with it, but I was most intrigued by the kind of like marbly shades here. So we have Visionary, Manifest, It, Bold Moves, like such unique shades. So Visionary, appears to be like a coppery color like that manifest is like there's like a cream in there that is so cool there's like a creaminess in there never seen that before oh my god wait there's like cream eyeshadows in here worthy <gasps> what is that is that to like darken up any shadow that's scary i don't know if i'm gonna get into that today and then bold moves also looks really like a really pretty <gasps> okay okay we're gonna have some fun we're gonna have some fun even though i'm literally the worst at eyeshadows i wanted to test this out so the first shadow i'm gonna go into is best self which is just like a transition shade it's a it's a safe shade for me and i'm gonna put that in the crease to just be my little transition shade. I don't know how crazy we're gonna get here. I like that so far. We have like a little bit of an orangier transition shade going on. And remember what I said, I always lift the eyeshadow up. Everything about the eye makeup is going up like that. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Keep Going, which is like a little bit of a darker shade and kind of try to just deepen up the crease. And I saw something on TikTok where apparently my eyeshadows look bad because I blend too much. So we're gonna try to not blend that much. 
apparently I overblend. I think that looks good, okay. I mean, we've done nothing revolutionary as of yet. This cream shadow is calling my name. Should I try it? Ugh, no, I regret it immediately. I'm gonna go in with this really dark shade, Confident, and kind of just place that here. It's a little bit scary. I've never gone in with a shade that dark, but I kind of want to just, just deepen up my eye, my crease there. Okay, that wasn't crazy. I survived. And I'm gonna drag that to up here. Moon Dust from Urban Decay. It is like the prettiest shadow ever. Look at that. And then... That is so, that's so pretty, I kinda wanna use that. Okay, I'm gonna go first over with Moon Dust. I just decided we're gonna put it all over. <gasps> that is so pretty. I shine my light on my eye. It literally is just, it looks like magical. That is stunning. Okay, so happy with my decision. I'm even putting it up into my crease. But I do wanna go in a little bit with this Bold Moves shadow and just like place it on, wow, we are going so sparkly today, but I don't mind, it is so pretty. <gasps> this is the nicest eyeshadow I've ever used, Bold Moves. I feel like it could be even a little bit darker in the crease, so I'm gonna go back in and kind of mix Confident with Keep Going and just deepen up that crease. Then I'm gonna go in with the One Size Eyeliner, the Brown Eyeliner, and I really like this one. It has a really good lasting power. On the daily, I either use this one or I use Limitless Brown from Makeup Forever, or one of my latest finds is the Tattoo Pencil Liner from Kat Von D. This one will last all day but today i'm going to go in with the one size pencil and just do my usual kind of cat eye wing if you want more tips on how i do my eyeliner i went in depth about it in my last get ready with me Before I go any further, I'm gonna wipe off my bake, and to do that, I'm dipping into this One Size Fits All foundation powder, which I actually really didn't like the first time I tried it, but to wipe off a bake, I like it. I don't think it's absolutely necessary. I feel like you can use any pressed powder. Now I'm gonna do my lower lash line. I always put shadow on my lower lashes. I find it really completes the eye look, and then it also hides any creasing that may happen under your eye. So I'm gonna go in with Best Self All Over my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go into Keep Going, which is the darker one in the top right corner, and put it on the outer third and drag it up towards the wing. Now I'm gonna go in with the Ilia Mascara. This has been a favorite of mine for literally years. I never wear false lashes, but if you wanted to, you can totally throw those on now. I just can't be bothered. And this mascara really gives you a false lash effect. I feel like the best way to get a false lash effect is to apply at the base and kind of flick up. I put one coat kind of all over my lashes and the movement of my mascara wand is not straight up. It's kind of going out at an angle. I don't always do this, but I'm gonna go in with my brown liner and kind of line the outer, I wanna say fifth, really just the smallest amount. I'm gonna line with brown liner and I feel like it really just gives you that look. While my mascara dries, before I curl it, I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face makeup. This product right here has been the magical game-changing product from Makeup by Mario. It's the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector, 
Radiant Skin Powder in the shade Medium. I kind of use this as my bronzer and it is the best bronzer. So you can see it has bronzer and then two little like highlight shades and the highlight shades add a filter onto your skin. It makes your skin look flawless. It makes you look glowy and dewy. It's just the best bronzer. So I just kind of go in and dab all around and then apply it like I would any bronzer. For blush, I'm going in with the St. Patrick Top Palette, picking up this really pink one. <sighs> I literally use the same brush for everything, you guys. Like, I don't have the time to be switching around. These are very pigmented, so be careful. But I wanna look like I've been playing in the snow. Now I'm gonna go in and curl my lashes. I don't know if I want to be feisty and test out like a red lip. I feel like I'm going to regret that. So I'm going to use my latest favorite lip liner from Huda Beauty in the shade, not this one. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my favorite lip liner combination as of recently. They're both from Huda Beauty. This is in the shade Honey Beige. This is in the shade Warm Brown. First, I go in with Honey Beige PSA. These are twist up not sharpenable pencils like I thought and I go in and I, I kind of line my whole lip with this lighter shade honey beige and I kind of fill my lip in as if it is my lipstick then I go in with this darker shade and just put it in the center to really deepen up the whole lip look. Now I'm gonna put a little KKW lipstick in the center from Charlotte Tilbury. And then for my gloss, I'm going in with one of my favorite glosses of all time. It is the Sephora brand gloss. I've literally, I'm at the end of mine. I need to buy another one. And it just adds the glossiest finish to your lips. All right, so that is pretty much my updated holiday glam nighttime event makeup routine. I feel like it's not as extreme as some people, but I always wanna feel like me. That is also the skin routine I've been doing recently. Let me know in the comments, do you step outside the box during the holidays or do you stick with your go-to glam? I feel like no matter what it is, what I'm doing, I always stick with my go-to makeup because it's what makes me feel the best. Don't forget to check out all the products I use from Sephora down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys back here next time. Bye!